okay uh, today we're going to discuss uh, strategic financial management paper 2019 first second question so we will see what is the question the yeah uh, this is the question are uh, the risk free rate and the market rate for a period are five percent and ten percent respectively they give us what is the risk free rate and uh, market rate you enter the risk free rate and market rate please yes uh, re market rate is 10 percent and uh, risk free rate is five percent next uh, the results for some portfolio during the same period have been given below they give us uh, portfolios and average return in percentage and beta value we will enter the the given information portfolio Average return is 8, 15, 12, and 9. The beta value 0 0.8, 1.1, 1.2, and 0.85. Right. Uh, what did they ask? Compute the expected return for each portfolio using CAPM model. Uh, they ask expected return. Expected return. How do we calculate expected return? Um, expected return we calculate risk free rate, risk free rate plus the beta value multiple by the difference between market return and risk free return how do we calculate expected return risk free rate plus beta value multiplied by the difference between uh, market return and risk free rate you see how do we calculate the first one first portfolio what is the risk free, uh, what is the risk free rate is this rate is 5% 5% and 5% as what is the beta value 0.8 beta value is 0.8 this rate is 5% plus uh, beta value is 0.8 Beta value is 0.8 and multiple by what is the risk difference between market return and risk free return. Market return is 10% minus 5%. Return. Expect 
such a tens 0 point 0 0.09 you cannot take it into percentage 0 0.9 0 0.09 multiple by 100 it is 9 percent like this we will calculate others Beta value 1.1 next 1.2 next point 85 expected rate the B portfolio B expected rate is 0 0.105 portfolio B expected rate is 0 0.11 portfolio D expected rate is 0925 convert into the percentage 10.5 percent 11 point percent 9.25 percent what they ask we they now we calculate the expected return for each portfolio next what they ask compare the actual and the expected return compare the actual and the expected return and identify the best performing portfolio assuming that investors have received above mentioned average return yeah uh, how do we calculate the comp the best portfolio the best portfolio is the positive the best portfolio should be the value should be positive value yeah how we going to compare the actual and the expected returns uh, maybe that column different uh, what is the the portfolio a expected return expected return we we can we calculated it is 9% and average return average return they give us it is 8% the difference between average return and the expected return is minus minus 1 like this we, we calculate the other portfolios it is 5.51 and minus 0.25 yeah i i told you the positive value is the best performing portfolio we calculate the percentage the different divided by the expected return in positive values the difference divided by the percentage value we calculate into percentage and 
性いらない The best portfolio is 43 and 9. It is the portfolio B and C. The actual best performance are like the best performing Thank you.